and gentlemen, welcome to Dish Nation. Is the man, the myth, the legend, and he has a brand new movie out right now called I Got the Hook Up 2. Make some noise one time for Master P. Yeah! Yeah. yeah. Man, it's been a really? minute, buddy. You know what? <laughs> Sometime you gotta, you know, when you get it together, you gotta take your time and do it right. Nah, I hear that, and like, and, and that works for twofold. It's been a minute since you've been through, but yeah. I was doing my googles. Like the original, I got the hookup came up in 1998. Wow. Here we are in 2019. Know what I'm saying? I got the hookup too, Two. and the trailer looked crazy. Yeah, it's, and you it's got funny. damn near everybody back. Everybody, it's like the Harlem Nights of 2019. <laughs> I got everybody in the movie. Uh, DC Young Fly went crazy in the movie. He's a star. Uh, Gary Johnson in the movie, Michael Blackson, John Weatherspoon, Tiny Lester. Uh, you got a friend of Dish Nation, Jess Hilarious. She's Jess Hilarious. Yeah. I mean, she, she's funny. We don't even you know, have to talk about that. She did a thing. Uh, Uncle Willie from Atlanta, uh, Terry Miles, he did his thing in this film. Uh, it's just so many great talents in this movie. So I feel like it's time for us to actually have an independent company and be able to compete because we only own 5% of the production when you talk about making Hollywood films as African Americans and Latinos. Yeah, and I mean, and we look to guys like you to kind of show us the way. And like yeah. when you look at the late 90s, I mean, you was dropping them, you yeah. know, back to back. And then all of a sudden it kind of like went quiet on the film front yeah. and you got into other endeavors. Yes. What was switched up to where you was like, okay, maybe not so much movies right now. Let me do this other thing. Well, you know, uh, I had so many other projects going on to where it was hard to get in to the the movie industry, like really be able to take over. They give the budgets to who they want to. So by me, I've been doing everything on my own. So I said, you know what? Let me build up this product. Let's build up some bread to do it on my own. And here we are now, like to take over. The movie industry is going to be movies, 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 like we did music. I feel like it's a it's a space for us. When you talk about diversity, we need to be in there. We need to be able to, after this type of movies, to be able to make some of those Spider-Man type of movies and Absolutely. get those type of budgets of Black Panther. Because like, you look at Black Panther, you see this in the screen, but behind the thing, we don't own none of that. True. So I feel like this is why this movie is a movement. We own this. Me and Romeo financed this movie ourselves. And I feel like when we start looking at it, the behind the scenes, we're going to realize that we're not a part of it. And so how can we put money back into the community? That movie made billions of dollars, yep. but none of that money came back to us. Right. And Because we don't own it. And speaking of movies, um, Master P, and all of it, now you did the premiere yep. in, at Essence. Yep, in New Orleans. In New Orleans, and and they said that you ran into Tyler Perry. Yes, I did. So how was that? <laughs> it, it wasn't cool. Yep, it wasn't cool. Uh, it wasn't cool because I thought that Tyler Perry would be happy and excited for me. I'm another mm. black man. I'm we both we both from the same neighborhood. Right. I just didn't feel that like I was ready to man. That's my homeboy. I'm proud of you. Mm. Blah blah blah. But it was like. It was cold. It, he white woman you. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> so so there, there was nothing Damn. underlying that was said prior to your interaction that would make him react a certain way towards you? It was just ice now, cold I mean, the maybe, maybe I know that in the interview I said that I would never put a dress on and make no money. But that's your prerogative. That's just me. Yeah, you know, you know me, you right? Feel. That's just how I am. Like, Absolutely. You know, so, but I didn't, you know, I was expecting, you know, I got to hook up too. This is a classic. This is one of the biggest films for our culture, and I'm doing it on my own. I'm paying for it myself. Right. So I was expecting from him to be, you know, we both yeah. in New Orleans in essence. And after yeah. everything he preach all the time and yeah. say, you know. so, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, we got to stop that. It's like either be real with each other. I don't do that. Yeah. You know, so if I see somebody, I'm going to embrace them because yeah. it's another black man that's doing something. And it's like you say, it's hard for us to get out here and do this. So, you know, like you say, you preach all that stuff, but do you really live it? Yeah. And you would so, be crazy to think that at some point or another, he didn't look at your blueprint at one point in but time. Guess what, and, though? Let me tell y'all something, though. They say he did. That, that he did. <laughs> because he because, did. But they say that behind the scenes, they don't say that in front of the cameras. Right. Have right. you ever heard them say that in front of it? You know, that's how they do artists when you first come out. That's how these new artists is. They don't yeah. pay tribute to the ones that came before yeah. them. And, they I, gotta... and to be honest with you, I've always celebrated the people that came before me. I even Absolutely. celebrate Tyler Perry. Yeah. I think he's incredible, uh, what he do. But I was just thinking, like, for me, we did the 
premiere in New Orleans. We yep. shut the city down. Like, and that's it was your city. Out. This is my you know city. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I was thinking like, damn, this is my homeboy. Yeah. Like, he gonna be. Uh. But it was just cold. It was like, you know me. I keep it 100. Yeah. I could have went off. Yeah. You know what I'm maybe, saying? Maybe he was going through some P. But it do be underwhelming. Maybe, maybe it do be underwhelming some. when you feel like, oh, this is an ally. This yeah. is somebody yeah. like, who understands what right, I'm coming this from. This what we just talked about, how you just said, I got the hookup too. You know, you could brag about it. You could talk about it. You know, it was a classic. I just thought my homeboy was going to be able to, all the cameras on us. Look, man. Say y'all something. Y'all go see this Embrace movie. It. Master P and them, they paid for this, you know, blah, blah, blah. But you know that's like you say everybody got their own thing. I ain't yeah. mad at them. Right. I still got love for them because I, I when I see another black man doing something that's positive, you know I respect it. Mm. But I I just didn't I I didn't expect it. Yeah. That's like when me and you seen each other. I came exactly. and said you like man P ain't seen you in a while. You you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying. So you kind of like you could go talking about old times and yeah. But it was like let me get out here and run and go. Now, All right, homie, cool. So the but guess what? I'm going to do it anyway. Right. right? Yeah. You know what? Because I got guard. I got that man up above. And and, and you've been doing I've it. I've been yeah. doing it. But guess what, though? When you're doing things right, you don't you don't need that praise from nobody exactly. else. Exactly. You don't you need that praise from anybody yeah. else. Just the fans. Y'all go out and see this movie. Y'all know that we're putting money back into the community. You know what I'm saying? It's not Black Panther. We don't own that. We own <laughs> no. this. And uh, I've been 21 years in the community giving back to the youth. Mm. Uh, our program is helping uh, underprivileged kids in the community know the importance of education because education changed and saved my life. So I'm I'm committed to doing that. And uh, that's what my life is about. The more I make, the more I can give. Well, let's talk about that for a second because a lot of times, you know, people don't really give you your flowers yeah. until you're dead. Like, we yeah. won't hear about all your phil- uh, philanthropic efforts right. until you're, you're long gone. Yeah. But-, but, you know, I don't care them about none of that. I, do, I tell people... When you when you do that, you do it from your heart. You do it because that's what you love to do. Mm-hmm. You know, but it, I think it's important though that we big people up who yeah. are actively Ex- doing. Absolutely, though. you know it's what I'm important saying? Like that the world knows. Nipsey was always great. Yeah. But you heard about it more after he passed yeah. away, yeah. and like you know, and, you know, and the the, and the you narrative. know Nipsey was my homeboy. I taught him a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I taught him a lot. Like even when he was alive, you know, uh, we talked about his album. That album came out two years ago. So just to get it, let people know. His concern was when he first put that record out two years ago, it only sold 52,000 copies. Mm -hmm. So he knew it was a great body of work, but nobody paid attention to it. So it kind of like had him in a, even when he passed, he don't know how great this record is now. Two years later, he's mill album of the year on BET. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His funeral at the Staples Center. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The year before, nobody really knew who he was. He got into it with the guard because the guard, like, was disrespecting him. He was uh, uh, the pre-show at the BET Awards mm-hmm. last year. Yep. Mm-hmm. And now he's nominated for all this stuff, which I feel like he should have got that while he was here. Right, that's what we say, and that's why we got to let the world and, know what you're doing. You know, and and it, it's just, it's just crazy, though, to be honest, which I ain't going to lie to y'all. It's crazy they wait till something happened to oh, somebody. Yeah. That's you know why we got to work on them not doing that. Yeah. Well, yeah. real quick, I mean, while you're here alive, I mean, it's just, so we have right now, uh, there's a bottle of water. And we uh, applaud you for everything you've done in hip-hop. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah. thank you. All, all the hip-hop thank that you, you put on. Thank you. All, all the people uh, from you know, comedy that you bring. Give me the Mignotti shoe. Let's uh, do that again. All right, all right, all so right. we're going to present you <laughs> with this, uh, I'm going to say it's a vegan print. <laughs> yeah, Mignotti <laughs> shoe. We don't, yeah. we don't want Peter on your neck. No, right. this is, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> this is leopard print, so... This is high-end fashion at its best. You know, thank y'all for for applauding me and giving me this. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is all and I you wanted. you own it. You this, know what I'm saying? This is all I wanted, big dog. For real. I ain't asked for nothing. Y'all had to give me no car, no house, <laughs> right. no jewelry. This is all I wanted, y'all, to say. Man, I'm, you know what? But, bro, you, you brought us to the record stores week after week yes. when No Limit was dropping them, them albums every yes. week with the ill, uh, with the Ill uh, covers. Yeah. Also... No one was bridging comedy and hip hop yes. together like you yes. and Russell Simmons was yes. mm-hmm. at that time. And there's a lot of comedians we know now yes. because of the things y'all did. Absolutely. So salute on that as well. Yeah, no, I yeah. appreciate it, man. Like for me, I'm a humble person. So like I don't care nothing about it. I just don't I, I just don't like that fake stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So nah, man. I, I, I applaud this generation. I'm I'm here to help the ones that wanna help. Right. And uh I tell people all the time, 
You know, it's not about loyalty because everybody in the hood talk about loyalty. It's about commitment. You have to be committed to something. Like when you talk about making movies for African American and Latinos, you know, I'm committed to open that door, kick that door down because y'all got to realize, you know, we're in AMC right now with this movie, but it was so hard to get in there. Mm. When, like you're saying, you could call your homeboy or whatever, mm. and y'all could, we could put our hands together and go do this. We ain't asking nobody for no money. Right. We put our own bread up. So it's like, I don't understand where the hate come from. So w- let's go deeper. Why do yeah. you think it's so hard for somebody like yourself who is established, yeah. who has done this before, why is it so hard for you to get within the infrastructure of like the AMCs and the Regals and all that stuff? Well, you know, they're afraid because I'm spending my own money. Think about the money you're going to make off of this if it's done right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm not afraid to take the risk and invest. A lot of people don't. There's a lot of actors that make $20 million a movie. You think they could put 5 or $10 million in their own project, but they don't. Mm-hmm. You know, they want to be pampered. I don't want to be pampered. I want to be able to feed my people. Right. So that's why I do this. You know, I kind of like take that approach that Muhammad Ali, we can't, we can't take this with us. So okay. I just love being able to give my people opportunity, Absolutely. jobs. We have 126 speaking roles in this movie. So we're up for the Guinness Book of World Records for the most speaking roles in a film. If okay. I had another shoe, I'd give it to you, man. Yeah, okay. man. <laughs> no, but I'm, it's but another I'm one. It's another one. <laughs> Speaking of that, Master P, so now um, you do have a, a not, when I was growing up, we called it tennis shoes because we were poor, but y'all called them sneakers. Yes. So now you have a sneaker. Yes. So what's the, what's the sneaker? What is it? It's like? Manyatis, M-O-N-E-Y. A-T-T-I dot com. Mayati dot com is high in fashion, just like Gucci or Versace. But it's like every pair we sell go back to help inner city kids nice. uh, for education. So that's what's different about it. But it's also high fashion. I mean, if we can support Nike and all those other companies, why we can't support us? Right. You mm-hmm. know, so my, my thing, I'm challenging a lot of entertainers and actors and saying, you know what? If it's fly, let's wear it. Put it on, and it's it's for a good cause. Well, let me take it to the light. Pass me one of them. Yeah. Let me see. I'll take it to the light. He's an appraiser. Yeah. It's self. It feel real good. Yeah, it too. Good. And I'm not a tennis shoe person, but I would like a pair of them. I, okay. Yo, he I literally had that shirt on yesterday. He had the shirt to go with those he shoes sure did. yesterday. I got you. Sure did. All right, but give us your size. We're gonna make sure you get them. Yeah. Hell yeah! Now that's live, man. So we. Okay, so go to Mayati.com. That's M-O-N-E-Y-A-T-T-I.com. If what? Yes. Now, we know about the uh, you know the business aspects of yes. Master P and what you do. We know about the movie I Got the Hook Up In. It is now part two. Yes. Who are your friends? Like, who does Master P hang out with? Man, I, I hang out with the same people I've been around my whole life and, and my kids. You know, my kids are not my friends, but I love being around them. I got two boys that play basketball. I'm a coach. So when I'm not doing this... Y'all will see me in Atlanta. We just won. Uh, I got I got a seventh grader and I have a tenth grader, and okay. they 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 work hard. What you think about the recent trades in basketball? It's crazy. And who gonna win? Who gonna dominate? You don't the even season? know now. I mean, look like everywhere Kawhi Leonard go, they gonna win. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, that guy work hard. He the yeah. other Steph Curry. Yeah, he but does. you know what I like about him? He's doing what he got to do. Mm-hmm. He's not letting nobody dictate him. You thought that he'd probably stay in Toronto because of Drake and the, man. Let me go get my bread. Right. I like the way this guy think out of the box and doing what's right for him and his family. So that's what it's about. Word. Now, like, you notably fought very hard for yeah. your children. Yeah. And a lot of times there's a lot of fathers out there who are, like, you know, going through things with their significant other yeah. and they probably should have custody of their children. Yeah. What do you say to those guys who feel like there's no shot in hell that I can get custody of my kids? Man, put it in God's hand. Put it in God's hand and keep doing the right thing because as a man... When you go into the courtroom, they don't even want to hear what you got to say. Mm-hmm. And they don't, now it's crazy that they don't even want to hear what the kids got to say if they're not over 18. Mm-hmm. So you, it's, a, it's a tough role. You just got to put it in God's hand, and the truth will prevail. And that's what happened for me. You know, uh, I've been raising my kids, and I had to do what I had to do as a man, but I also had to uh, build a friendship with my ex at the same time. So, you know, you got to get over all the other stuff and just be like, you know what, let's just work this out for our family and do what's right. And that, that's that's what I decided to do. And you haven't remarried since then, correct? No, no. Is it hard? Because, like, I would imagine, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't hard for him because Romeo just said he can't even bring too many girls around because they end up trying to holler at him. But that's the thing, because people know the repertoire. They, yeah. they, they know how heavy but the you, pocket is. But you know what? I'm, I'm more focused on my kids and what I got to do uh, for my family right now. 
So all, all the other stuff will happen. It'll, it'll come. But, you know, like I was telling Rome the other day, like I'm really not with if you with a female and then she didn't show all her goodies on social media like that. For me, I'm old school, so yep. that right there, that's a red flag yeah, for me. Like <laughs> it's like yeah. it's like good for a night, but like that's after it. that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's yeah. like I can't. I don't know. That's just me. And and you can't respect and, and that. the millennials. They like it. They will go. Oh, well, she been with him, 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 and they. Yeah. Take her home and Oof. and marry her, but I'm. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you can't turn a hoe into a hoe. <laughs> you know, but I get it. Like different strokes for different folks, but right. you know, I'm be like, you got to cover that thing up. That's just supposed to be for me. If it's for me, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So I take it you would never go on a bachelor. Nah, Mm-mm. I don't need to do that, man. Like I want. It's all about where I meet a woman at too. So where do you like? Where, where does a guy like Master P go to meet women? I better meet her in a library or somewhere or somewhere yeah. cool. I man, come on, y'all. He been in the game for a minute. Yeah, so yeah. I know, but I, the but women I know have been a lot of knocking that come on at him because they want forever since back in the day. So yeah. he probably like tired of that. It's the yeah. same old, same yeah. old. So but they say it's he, good to meet a he woman. He trying to meet him in church in or the a, library. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm at just a saying funeral. somewhere, somewhere <laughs> different where you know you're not expecting like, oh, I'm I'm looking for you to, you know what I'm saying? Like, really just happen. Meet him in the produce department. They say women <laughs> in the produce department, particularly the cucumbers. Yeah. <laughs> Catch Slimmy at the Praline Connection. <laughs> in the past. Cool. Uh, your brother C. Murder, we, yeah. you know, we're still hoping for you yeah. know, a speedy release on him. What's the latest on his situation? Man, you know, we was thinking that it was all about to happen, and then when you get caught up in that system, he an innocent man fighting for his freedom, mm. and uh, we just praying, man. We praying that something is going to turn around with all the things that's going on right now, I feel like, you know, we just got to keep that trust and faith in God and some, something's going to turn around. You know, and I tell any kid out there, you got to think about whatever you're doing. You know, you got to think about when God gives you opportunity to change, change. You know, mm-hmm. some people just keep it too real. Keep it real mm-hmm. with the streets. Ain't no keeping it after Nipsey. You can't keep it real with the streets no more because you'll get gunned down in your own hood. For nothing. Yeah. For nothing. For trying to take care. Y'all, y'all done took the plug out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my thing is I, I'm about keeping it real with these kids and the elderly when I go to the hood. Mm-hmm. All the rest of the stuff, it don't, it don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Because there's too much hate out here. It ain't yeah, worth it's, losing yeah. your freedom or your life. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, you know, you do your thing. You never forget where you came from. Mm-hmm. But you got to have a cause and a purpose now. Yeah. You know, and, and, you know, God is real, but the devil is real, too. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Don't let him use you. At yeah. all. And <laughs> we chilling here with Master P right now, who probably stands about, what, six foot five? Yeah. Yeah, so six foot five, so you oversee a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> look, looking at the game, right, there's a lot of people going through legal situations. Yeah. I don't know if you heard about what ASAP Rocky's going through right now. Yeah. What's, what's your take on that? Man, you know what? When you go in these other countries, you just got to... Sometimes you got to bite your tongue. That's what I said. You know what I'm morning, saying? Yeah. Because they really don't like, you know, Foreigners. when people come from, you know what I'm saying? No. Think about it. That's like somebody come over here and do something. It might be you defending yourself or whatever. Mm-hmm. You got to know you're a celebrity. They're going to mm-hmm. make it more. It's like, like my brother. My brother in prison because he's a celebrity. Mm-hmm. They had to get something to make a story out of it. And, y'all, we, we living in a time where the social media is going to publicize everything. Mm-hmm. And so if he was a regular guy that happened, they probably would have. Had him on the wrist and told him to keep because the guy was bothering him. It, it was, yeah. So, but now you got to realize do I make this decision or do I just just leave and make it back to the States and do what I got to do? So mm-hmm. now this is going to teach us a valuable lesson. Like when you out in those other countries, just be obedient. Just, yeah. just stay out the way. Stay out the way. We, we don't have to stay out the way. Like we the definitely wrong. praying for him, man, but it's, it's, it's a sad situation because we know, you know, every cause. You know, with effect of uh, action, going to get a reaction. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that was just one that, you know, uh, sometimes they say a good run be the bad stand. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, there's another guy who, you know, I, I personally feel like I beat him up a lot on this show, but it's with yeah. Tough Love, and it was somebody you tried to save as well. Yeah. Kodak Black. Yeah. Have, you know, and I know y'all was like about to have a business relationship. Yeah. All of a sudden, y'all didn't. He's been locked up for quite some time. Have y'all talked since he's been incarcerated? Nah, because think about it. What I was trying to show him, reality didn't kick in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like sometime, like, you know, you might have a parent that's like, look, I'm telling you, don't yeah. go over there. You go and then, if you look at it right now, what I was trying to tell him, these lawyers are not doing this for free. 
Sure and not. he just posted up a post saying the lawyer's sucking all his money out. Like, now he get it. Maybe the time he done spent in there, he start realizing this is not for free. Right. They all get money, taking money off of him. And that's what I was saying. You Sometimes you have to audit those people. A lot of these guys don't want to audit because they get comfortable with these guys. And I was saying, if I do a deal, if you're giving this guy 20% of a deal, if I do a deal and I only want 10 or 15%, I go, I go get get some money for you. Let me get my cut. Exactly. That's just business. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But that so, goes back to us not trusting one another. Exactly. So, but guess what, though? And then when we get in trouble, who do you go back to? You. Exactly. Now you're looking for us. That's right. Because yep. they ain't, they don't, they, you're not valuable to them no more. <laughs> That's right. So, you know, we're definitely praying for him, man. And uh, I hope that when he get out this time that he could see that he needs to take care of his business personally. You know, instead of letting these people, because y'all know these record companies, they give you a lot of advance checks Ooh, and they take care preach. of you. So now they they paying for rappers to get out of jail mm -hmm. until they can't get you out no more. And then they done with you. I yeah. thought he like, had to figure it out when he got out the first. He got out of jail, did a record with Bruno Mars. I'm like, dude, you out of here right now. Like, yeah. yo, cut yeah. all them other people off to well, keep getting you in trouble and move. Well, you know what? That's hard to do for some people, man. Because mm -hmm. they get caught up in that old homeboy syndrome. Exactly. Keep you know the real thing. Man? Yeah, that, that keeping it real. That, and it's like, where, the, where those people at when you down? They're yeah. keeping it real away from your ass. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you see right now who's still down with them and who's not. Yeah. And I'm going to tell y'all something about for these lawyers. Y'all got to realize mm. you control the lawyer. You the mm. boss. Stop letting the lawyers control you, telling you what to do. They work for you. So sure. you could tell them what to do. No, I don't want to do that. Sir, I don't want to do that. Why you don't? Because, sir, I don't want to. That's it. Ain't no lawyer going to tell me what to do. They work for me. Yeah, you're paying them. You're paying them. You are paying them, but in some um, circumstances, they're smarter and more knowledgeable in that area. That, so They are, They are. but at the same time, you have to ask you, when you sign this, let me tell you what this is about. Mm -hmm. So this is your final decision. Do you want to do this? Right. So you do can say, well, how much is this going to cost me? Right. Because think about it. Sometimes you might go work something out with somebody that'll cost you cheaper True. than with the lawyer. The True. lawyer just running up the numbers Absolutely. on you. How much they make. So they doing it for to get their money. One phone call, $500. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and don't ask them to email so you. What? Let what? Me... <laughs> <laughs> well, let me make that phone call to you. Okay. I'll call you later. <laughs> okay. And that's the type of stuff I'm doing and I got the hook up too. I'm bringing, shedding light to that, mm. to all these things that we go through that's funny, but it, it's serious. Right. Because it's real life. Right. We look at the gentrification. We don't know that, oh, we go sell our house to these guys uh -huh. for $2 oh. and they come back and make $100 yeah. off it. That's right. And I know you seeing it right now in New Orleans. Oh, I haven't been in a minute and I saw so many new buildings when yes. I was out there and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. You've but, been in real estate since back in the day. Yes. And I, and I, I, I tell anybody that's in the entertainment or athlete, you know, like, you know what? Learn your economics. Learn your business. Start signing your own checks. You go get a financial advisor. Look, all these guys getting robbed by these financial advisors because they you. don't know. They don't like know. Like you said, you depending on a lawyer. You're, yep. just, you're depending on a financial person to take care of your money because all you want to do is be an entertainer. Right. And then when it get real, you worrying about, oh, I'm crying and this. No, don't cry. You allow these people to take care of your business because you had no time. But you don't learn right. that in the beginning, Pete. I played professional basketball. It took two hours out of my day, every day. So what you doing with the other 22 hours? Everybody got 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to run around and act like you so important, uh, you so big time until where it takes you 23 hours to play basketball, uh, 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 you're doing music, like, come on. You got to invest some time into your business if you want to be successful Absolutely. or if you want that staying power. Right. Because everybody make it and, and, and fall off. You know what I'm saying? The system is set to look for the next one. It's like we were talking about in sports. Right now, all these players are getting traded. And, you know, they got guys that gave up millions of dollars, $10, $20 million to go try to win a championship. So what happened when you don't win it? They ain't going to give you that money back. They sure not. You, 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 you take a low pay cut because they telling you, we're going to win the championship. Why don't you take a low pay cut because I'm going to bring in such and such and such and such. And then when you don't win, then what happens? You don't get that money back. Mm. Done. Mm -hmm. And then when you need that money, they trade you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. I know. Yo, staying in the basketball bag for two seconds, right? Yes. Everybody knows you played professionally for a couple years. Yes. Uh, between the rap fans and the basketball fans, who are the thirstiest as it relates to the women? The women? Man. Ooh. 
they got gold diggers on both sides, man. But it's, it's sad on the basketball side because they show how much you make in the newspaper. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, so does it bring out a higher caliber? Of- yeah, because think about it. In the stands, you got thousands of fans in the stands. And they there all the time, every game. They know you there. So at least with a rapper, you might have a concert once a month or whatever. But you got to imagine all through that week, they got a chance to get at you. Run up I you. remember when I'm telling you, when I played, I ain't going to say no names, but I played. They had. When you was in the NBA, right? And I was in the NBA. So we in the family room in the back. They had one girl had a baby for three players on my team. Shut up. Damn. And I'm like, dude. And I could hear the little talk in the background. I'm like, I don't like that. She, you know, in the ones who, who his girl was now. And then the other two got the babies, Ooh. but they in the back with the family. So it was like, I'm like, man, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, it, y'all actually let her right. get all three of y'all. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo, she's like, she's like the Mackenzie Bezos of basketball. Okay. Like, is she playing right? Let me find out there's like a, a, a woman with a Jordan, an Iverson, and an O'Neal in the house. Okay. <laughs> God, dope. Jackpot. I couldn't believe that. Yeah. I'm like. She must have been beautiful, honey. Yeah, she was She nice. must have been gorgeous. I'm glad I heard about it. <laughs> 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 So, young Miller. Okay. <laughs> so, I, you know, Ice Cube got the three on three basketball yeah. league popping off right now. Being that you used to play ball professionally, would you consider doing that? You know what? I would, but y'all know I got the Global Mixed Gender League where I mix the WNBA and the NBA players. Yeah, so, that's, uh, right. that's that's blowing up now. Like, I'm, I'm really into taking that to the next level where it's equal pay for women. That's what's up. And I feel like, you know, it's it's about empowering Don't clap, women. Gary. You a woman. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're on this feminist wave Hell right now. Yeah, we yeah, love I mean, that. that's just, man, to be honest, it's women taking over right now. I'm mm. just being honest with you. I look at, it, even in the music industry, I'm more about the women because they ain't beefing, they getting their money, they doing what they got to do, and I, I, I love it. I mean, I definitely salute them. So if this is, like, wildly successful, which damn near everything you touch has yes. been, do we go deeper? Do we do, like, mixed gender martial arts? You know what? This is opening the doors. I feel like it's going to open the doors for Olympic team mm-hmm. because now we're going to Cuba and then we're going to China. Uh, I have some of the best, you know, female players in the NBA that, that plays on my – plays in my league. So I just feel like these women – should get they just do. Because I, I even had like a three point contest, a dunk contest. Like these women, the, the women won the three point contest against the NBA players. Mm-hmm. So, like, that was crazy to me. Like, to knowing how well they could shoot the ball. Now, you play. Yeah. Two Chains raps about playing all the time. We've actually yeah. seen college footage. Yeah. Just to make it weird, if it was a one on one full court basketball game between you two, who would win? You know, I like Two Chains, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's my partner, man. <laughs> But, you know, I learned how to play basketball from playing football. So I started out playing football. So I always, you know, was tough, like, hitting people. And uh, it's going to be hard to get to the basket on me. I mean, I done played against some of the top players in the NBA. So, you know, I mean, two chains can play. I seen him. Mm -hmm. Like, he really can play. Your position was what? I was playing the punt guard and shooting guard. Okay. and What was chains? Anybody know? He probably played. Quarterback. (laughs) <laughs> Wrong sport, sport, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I'm I'm just saying. Uh, but you you be... had a different caliber of people you were playing against. Yeah, so, so I yeah. played against Anthony Mason, like, and that's how I oh, met him. Oh, whoa! Like, he, was, he was a monster. <laughs> yes. When I first got to Charlotte, you know, before we came down here and played Atlanta, like I in practice, he was a tough dude. So nobody could touch him. He was six ten, two hundred, and like just crazy. Well, yeah. man, I have to be switching gears from all that sports. Uh-uh, don't act like that. Yeah, because that's how I forget. It's you don't like sports? No. Does he look so, like it? I'm just saying. He like tight ends. <laughs> no, I'm a tight end. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> so, so ask me, what is something you're obsessed with now? With me? Um, I think, you know, me being from New Orleans, you know, um, I like I like cooking. I just opened this restaurant called Big Papa's. And we got the best New Orleans burgers, you know. You mm. ever when you come to New Orleans, come to Big Papa's. Damn. You know, go to BigPapa'sBurgers.com and uh, come check us out. Like I'm into making sure that we have good food out there. Yo, cause like I was trying to Uber eat something after midnight, and Man. my options was 
trash while well, I was out there. Next time you go out there, look up Big Pop. And we just came back from I went Essence. To I wish I would have known that. I went to yeah. Morrow's. Morrow's was good, though. I wish I would have. Somebody told me after the fact, you should have went to Willie Mays. Yeah. So, where, so, you, so where's your spot? Where's Big Pop is at? It's, uh, it's in Harahan, so it's it's right there from the downtown. You could you could, you could mm. get it. So, uh, But the thing is, y'all got to realize, this business is a trillion-dollar business, and we barely own that. Mm. You know, it's always we working for some restaurant or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's time for us to take control of that, too, because I feel like if we own things in the community, then we own the community. Because a lot of people say, oh, this is my hood. This your hood, but you don't own nothing in there, so you just represent something that you know nothing about. Right. You ever thought about putting one in the airport? Because that's I'm, the best way to spread the brand around yeah. when people doing that layover or just passing yeah. through. Like, yo, yeah. I had this joint. It was good. Yeah, no, we we, we definitely own that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Small man over here. So listen, I got the hookup to. Yes. The movie's out right now. Yes. I know the soundtrack got to be crazy because that's what we do over here. The soundtrack is crazy. The first single with me and Jeezy is called Gone. Can we blast it yeah, off right now? Yeah, blast it off. World Wait, the, this, the soundtrack got Chance the Rapper. Yep. Nipsey Hussle. Yes. Uh, uh, Young Dolph, Fetty Wap, Soldier Boy, E40. It's and going more. crazy. We're sounding very 2019 right now. Okay. Yeah. You know what? That's what I wanted to mix this up. That's I have this. Up. Uh, I even have this girl group that's called OSOS, and I haven't heard nothing like that in a while. And I put them on the soundtrack. I say, y'all banging. They. I say, what is OSOS? Is it on some other shit? I'm like, okay, okay yeah, y'all good. Like, Where they I'm from? Listening, mm -hmm. uh, from the Bay and from. Uh, Louisville. Okay. And I, and I haven't heard something like that in a while, and it's no. one of those records. I say, you know what? We mixing the, the old and the new together. So yeah. this this soundtrack is definitely, definitely dope. And uh, uh, me and Jesus, that record gone. Mm. It's crazy. It's going to be a cold summer, the ice cream man and the snow man. That's the only thing Jesus. I can tell y'all. Well, let's you uh, can leave that ice put cream on your neck right let's get right yo, pop it <laughs> Yeah, what's up, y'all? World premiere right now. It's called Gone, Master P and Jesus. Cool. Yeah. So coming out of it, um, we'll probably spend like three more minutes and you'll be good to go, all my right. brother. Uh, all right, man, that's the latest right there from Master P, Young Jeezy. It's called Going Us On That I Got The Hook Up Part 2 soundtrack. Yes. And you got a verse on it from Nipsey Hussle as well. Yeah, yeah, man. It's like, uh, man, I I, I uh, look at this guy, Nipsey Hussle, what his life done did for people and brought so many people together across hoods all across the world. And like I said, man, this man should have been praised while he was here. He should have got all those awards and acc accolades while he was here. But I think that God has a bigger plan. And, uh, you know, I definitely, definitely praying for his family. And uh, this is a guy that's gone too soon. Yeah, like, this guy should have been here with everything. We should have preserved him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I know a lot of people talking about keeping it real. If you listen to us and you in the hood, keep it real and preserve the people in your community. That's really helping the community. Right. Back in the days, we'd be like, oh, man, this dude taking care of the kids, make sure he's straight. Mm -hmm. You know, like we need to do that for our people. Right. You know, and I just think that's where we're going to go at to where we go change all this negativity in our communities. With us, we have to fight for us. And like, I got to hook up too. This is about us, our culture. We need to support this because we'll be able to put money back into our communities, which we know we got to sit around and wait for somebody else to come to our community. We can't do it if we're not making money. Yeah. So like, this is a good way to open up those doors and avenues for filmmakers all across the world saying, you don't have to go sell your rights to these big companies. With all the technology you have right now, we can do this on our own. Well, so. we recognize what you put into the game, and when you go into the lobby, we're going to bubble wrap you. Okay. Right. <laughs> we sure deserve you, P. So before you roll, we want to play a game. We want to go in our throwback bag real quick. Okay. This game is called Uh or yeah. Nah Nah Nah. Right. Like, we're going to ask you, would you do something or Nah Nah Nah? Okay. You ain't going to do that. Right. Uh, <laughs> so let's take it for top. It's called okay. uh, uh or Nah 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 Nah. nah, nah. nah. <laughs> now, Master P, would you jump out of an airplane or go skydiving? Ooh. Huh? That's a white person, both of those, man. <laughs> right. oh, yeah, right. Will Smith did it, yeah, right? Yeah, it Smith jumped out the plane with it for his 50th birthday. Oh, congratulations to Will, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds that like a nine even sound nine. like, yeah, that's, that don't even sound like something we'll do, man. Mm. All right, so there's a show right now that's wildly popular. It's yeah. called Naked and Afraid. People go in the jungle for like 21 <laughs> days. They out there in the woods naked and they got to survive. 
Five million dollars, would you do it? Uh or nine and nine? Nah, nah, nah. Why would I run through the jungle naked for five million dollars? That makes no sense. <laughs> oh, that's what you're doing. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, okay. I right. go vegan for seven years. Huh? Or nah, nah, nah. Seven years? Seven years. I could try. Uh. Okay, cause uh, I saw you trying to get on your health wave yeah. last year on Come Instagram. On, man. Like, Come you. On, man. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, looking yeah, sleek. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, there's uh, you know, ten million dollars on the line. Yeah. Charities for the kids, P. Yeah. All right. Somebody wants you to box with Mike Tyson. Oh, dude, is you crazy? You know, me and Mike Tyson was friends. I wouldn't box with Mike Tyson right now. <laughs> He's a different guy. He probably hit you gently. Whatever. No. He might lose no. his nose, <laughs> <laughs> an ear. Are you kidding me? Mike Tyson ain't playing. I'm just letting y'all know. You won't get hit by Mike Tyson. Huh. Now I saw a video of him just showing somebody like some techniques. Now, like the dude's 50 plus, yeah. but he still got yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, Mr. B. Yeah. Well, yo, listen. One thing we ain't gonna miss is your new movie. I got the hookup part two, man. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm glad we made it to this point yeah. to where we can get. The sequel the things that we love so much yeah, thank man. you guys thank you guys for having me and what's uh, after that you know what it's is uh get the bag which is gonna be like a heist movie female movie so i'm gonna come holler at you, you better i was just getting ready to say yeah, all you right better. i'm gonna come holler at you right. she built for that yeah, i can't yeah. wait for that that's right up my right. <laughs> 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 i just got off probation too <laughs> i can shoot the guns now all right. We good. Man, yeah. movies, manyatis, and classic music, man. That man right there is Master P. Thank you Absolutely. for hanging out with us. Be sure you check out I Got the Hook Up 2 in theaters now.